Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here. You know, Andrew Carnegie once said that the most important gift that has ever been given to man is the ability to be able to control and use his own thought for his own purposes. To be able to control and use your own thought. That is our ability. Something that we do on our own. Now, if the gift of thought were a vehicle, okay, so a vehicle that we can get ahead in, then imagination is the fuel that goes into the vehicle. So thought by itself is great, but if you want to get that thought moving, if you want to do anything with it, that's where imagination comes in. Imagination. Imagination is the catalyst for creating anything you want. It's how we attract our goals. It's how we create our own lives. It's how our subconscious mind communicates with us. So I guess you could say the conscious mind, okay, we have five senses. There's a sense of, let's see, I wrote them down, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Those are our five conscious senses. But the subconscious mind, let's say when you're in hypnosis or meditating, so I guess when your mind is on the other side, the to be able to communicate with the, I guess you could say the spiritual realm, if that's what you want to call it, the universal consciousness, there's a sixth sense. You don't do that with any of the five senses. The sixth sense is your sense of imagination. So there, now you know what the sixth sense is. So to be able to communicate with the other side, to be able to receive subconscious thoughts, ideas, to be able to put them you know, into play here in this conscious world, our imagination is the receptor. It's the tool that we use. You know, as children, we all have this great ability to use your imagination. Matter of fact, kids have it in excess. They have imaginary friends, imaginary pets, imaginary lives, imaginary toys, uh, even their stuffed toys have their own name, they come to life. So kids have great imaginations. However, as we grow older, kids are told to stop thinking foolishly. Their imagination is stifled. Get your heads out of the clouds, you hear people say. They say that your imaginary friends and imaginary pets are nonsense. Stop thinking about that. Let it go. Just grow up. Okay. Now, we're told that growing up, now as adults, we're learning all these things that you're learning here on my page and everywhere else with the self-help feel that imagination is the key to attaining your goals. Ooh, thoughts become things. If you can imagine it here, you can attain it here. So we're told all this stuff about Imagination. We need to develop our imagination. We had it as children, but as we're growing up, we were told to stifle it. We lost that great ability to imagine as much as we had as a child. So if thoughts become things, and the subconscious mind always gives you what you focus on through your imagination, then wouldn't it be great to have that fantastic imagination that we had as a child. What a gift we had, but can we develop it again? Yes, we can. Matter of fact, in hypnosis, one of the biggest things we do is imagination training. Have somebody close their eyes and imagine what they want. That's one of the best ways to hypnotize someone. Rather than giving them suggestions, do this, do that, do this, close your eyes and imagine yourself on a stage. Imagine yourself already having accomplished the goal that you want. What do you look like? What do you feel like? So this is, matter of fact, one of our scripts is called The Theater of the Imagination. And that's one of the most successful scripts I use because we're having you imagine yourself already successful. So don't let your imagination go. Develop it. Keep your imaginary friends. Hey, the more friends, the better, right? And develop your imagination whenever possible. Just sit somewhere. Let your mind roam free. Let your imagination open up. Think about what would you like to do? Where would you like to go on vacation? What kind of things do you want? 
What do you want of your family, of your friends? Just let your imagination go. So protect your imagination and protect the imagination of your children too. Allow them to develop it. Allow them to have their imaginary fun, to talk to their toys and to sit there having their tea parties. Join them, encourage them and teach them how to use their imagination so they can create their lives and their goals. Thanks for watching and have a great day.